Oh, uh, this meeting is being recorded. <laughs> okay. Where did that come from? Why is that? What? That's a whole new thing there we got going here. All right. Uh, let me see here. I think we're going. Uh, I just want to check over here, as I always do, to make sure that on my Facebook page, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's coming through. Let me see here. There we go. There we go. And is it, is it coming through? Yeah, there we go. We're, we're, we're up and running. Uh, let me, let me get rid of my chat here. What did, what, what did that come up for? Why that come up? Okay, there we go. All right, we're all ready to go. So let me let in all these people that are waiting. Oh my God, we got a ton of them. Here comes uh, Jeff Stein and Rick Checkman and uh, there's Andrew Deutsch and there's Charlie Wallace and Len LaFrisco. And uh, we will probably have more as uh, uh, time goes on here. Hello, everybody. How are you guys? Hi, Alex. Hi. Yeah, they're just fine, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, can, no Canada today. He's on the golf course. No who? Chisholm. Oh, Chisholm is oh. on the golf course today. I see. He just sent me an email to apologize for not being here. Oh, because he's <laughs> playing go golf's more important than us, huh? Apparently it is. He wow. got started late, he said. Oh, on a golf match. How do you like your new attendance leadership role in the group there, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's taking he's taking attendance. Oh, here comes Steve Bender. Let me let him in. Okay, there we go. Uh, you know, uh, there we go. That's where, oh, Steve, uh, he has a background on him today. Here comes Marjorie. Uh, uh, let me see here. Steve, are you there? No picture. No picture. No, nothing there. Oh, well. Oh. Uh, anyway, how are y'all? You well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Steve. Okay, Steve, what you tried for a background, right? Oh, no, I wanted to turn the background off. Oh, you want to turn the background off. Okay. Yeah. Well, there are vendors downtown here in down near Union Square, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much more normal down here. <laughs> it's, it's much more, it is getting back to normal. It really, it? it really feels pretty normal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only 10 shootings this weekend. Right. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and only shootings and anti Semitic attacks. And other than that, yes. <laughs> well, you know, but at least your mayor can eat a hamburger on TV. So that's pretty cool. As a, as a Jew who is ridden with too much, way too much guilt, I always say to myself when I hear about these anti Semitic attacks, what is it we're doing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Well, did you see in the five towns, which you probably don't know what they are, mm -hmm. out on Long Island, they're having a rabbinical war over koshering. Okay. okay. Sounds good. What do you mean? In other words, Rabbi A's versus Rabbi B's over who can get the most graph koshering. And if oh, you yeah. don't go with Rabbi's A, they will then diss you. So you won't buy their product. In order to get uh, the uh, the uh, rating of kosher for passive, yes, you need a rabbi to like stand there and go manish kana, whatever. Yeah, hello, you know? how's that? Money, I don't think they said more questions. questions. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, there's like a war among the rabbis in the five towns over <laughs> who gets Money. the graph. From declaring this restaurant, there are the there there usually when when it's a, a Passover, there are the four questions, yes. right? Yes. But yeah. When it comes to the rabbis deciding what's kosher for Passover, and not there's only one question: where's the money? <laughs> no, but it's basically like a restaurant that they say is kosher. That's all year. It's not so, for Passover. Oh, so it, 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 but you have to renew it every year, right? Well, you have to have pay off the rabbis. Yeah. <laughs> so they're like now apparently in this area, two groups of rabbis, you know, and if you pay off rabbis B, rabbis A say to the restaurant, 
or to their rabbinic, you know, their, you can't shop there or eat there. Yeah, boy. Well, you got one rabbi uses his right hand, the other uses the left to well, circumcise the cow to make them kosher. They go around <laughs> each other in the diamond district for crying out loud. You know, just one more pack of crooks. Yeah. Boy. You know what? Remember, remember down in the diamond district, Shlomo Tall, I remember his name, was murdered uh, as part of a, uh, shall we say, an orthodox crime syndicate. <laughs> well, didn't they have like diamonds on him in his shop or something? Or... Yeah, 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 yeah. There was always a Jewish mafia, you know, Meyer Lansky, all those guys. Yeah, absolutely. Here in Ohio, there's an Amish mafia that one of the <laughs> one of the groups got pissed at the other and they shaved the other one's beard off and got, got put in jail for assault. <laughs> oh, you know, what you really should do is go throw a microwave into their window or something. You know, their... <laughs> they, they couldn't use it. They don't have electricity. <laughs> Lots of them have uh, solar solar cells with LED lights in their houses now. Is they're off? They're still off the grid. Oh, oh solar really? paneling, I'm sure. Oh, that used to, the Amish in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That used to be like the second biggest tourist attraction in America after mm -hmm. Disneyland. Well, I'm from Philadelphia, absolutely. But every every yeah. every community of theirs is different. They're not all yeah. the, they're not all the same. I was I'm great on the tour. Ladies and gentlemen, take people there. Yeah, all those restaurants, the plain and fancy, and, and the Crystal Cave in Lancaster. All I went to college, Frank, and a Marshall in Lancaster, so I knew all the all the Amish stuff. We have fam personal family friends. There's a, I have a tree stand behind my house. The Amish hunt deer in my backyard during the season. Hmm. I've been to more Amish weddings, I think, than I've been to other weddings. Wow. They're they're neat people. They just got different ideas than the rest of us and you and you don't have to worry about bad mouthing them on here because they're they're not going to hear <laughs> <laughs> so they had their one moment with the movie witness right <laughs> their big their big cultural moment yeah oh boy well certainly <laughs> all this jew talk at the top of the show that's right <laughs> well i just happened to see that this morning so yeah, yeah like that that that's what got you huh? it's our turn <laughs> it's what well again you, you know me it's take them all the orthodox put them on a boat take them 13 miles out to sea and leave well, them there there are the you know yeah. you're not being anti-semitic if you hate the orthodox jew <laughs> you know you're being realistic yeah well there's there's yeah. there, and there's degrees of of them that make them even worse Right. Yeah. But I, I do think you're painting with too broad a brush. There are heinous, you know, our groups of heinous, yeah. not, but there are some people that are I have, to, I have to somewhat take that back and slow it down a little bit because there are landlords. You know, <laughs> uh, oh, right. Well, That's right. Fighting the hand that feeds you, Alex. I've dealt with the guys that work for them in running the whole operation. Okay. And they're, they're okay. I get along with them, right, Marjorie? Yeah, we tip mm -hmm. them enough. <laughs> but the real oh, owners, no, really. the real owners show up here occasionally and they're in full garb. <laughs> you know, the long thing. They all are all the guys that we're dealing with from the uh, apartment house in this lawsuit uh, who are we're on their side they're and they're on our side. Um, they don't wear the full getup. They just get have the the uh, yarmulke and that's it, you know. Nice. And, uh, you know, they liberals. Like, huh? <laughs> they're liberals. They're liberals. Yeah. <laughs> but the other day, because they're, they're, uh, what is, uh, what, what's the thing? Pointing. Post they're pointing. Oh, man. When is that going to be over? Every morning I wake up. They're right up outside to, our window, right? I right wake up to just a hammer going, king, 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 king. Building was built in 1900, and not too much attention was paid. And they're making up, you know, for years and years and years. Well, if I then, if I then stay up long enough, I get the grinder. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking up to that at like nine sounds in the like, morning. That yeah. sounds like my ex-wife. <laughs> that, was, that was her nickname? <laughs> and they're looking at me sleeping uh, while they're pounding away at the bricks. Drilling. And it's been going on 
forever. Yeah. And not, nice. you, know, you would think, it must be our floor is just riddled with problems. Well, they start at the top and work down. Yeah, but they've been at our place forever. They do go down. They do go down. But I wonder if they then come up and say, well, you know, we had to go get that again. And then, <laughs> so, you know. Well, isn't like the Golden Gate Bridge that they start painting in Marin? They get to San Francisco and start over again. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. No, it's always constantly in a state of being. Yeah, I heard that painted. about the GW Bridge, too. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. probably only got two or three more years of this, Alex. Well, it. <laughs> I, <laughs> You know, we've got and we've got the break, the uh, covering around the building, so that because you know, this stuff is, uh, I find it on the ledges and everything. The stuff they're cutting out of the walls, the dust that's coming in, and is our amazing. windows are getting filthy. We can't, you know, once a year we hire a guy to come in and clean the windows, and it's usually this time, but not this year. But I got to wait till they're through with this, you know. Well, what are you going to do? Have them clean them, and these guys are still pounding. Well, I think that well, as long as they're out there, can't they clean them for us? <laughs> you work on that, Alex. You know, I'm, that's your job. That's for you. Union. By the way, you know, uh, Amazon. Can I give my latest gripe? No, I guess so. Amazon and their great desire to not have to pay anybody to deliver their goods anymore are now delivering the goods themselves. I think almost all our Amazon deliveries now are Amazon. New York City, they deliver them themselves. Yeah. The only problem is we have, we have a courtyard and it has four entrances, building one, building two, building three, building four. And uh, each of them have ABC, EFG, HIJ, which is us, K-L-M-N, the other one, okay? Uh, and somehow, these guys, three times in the last month, once for Marjorie, twice for me, have delivered the stuff to the wrong building. And with the... It's little in New York, folks. What? Nothing. Yeah. And and it was, it's been driving me crazy because I don't have a key to they put it put it like in one in building one i don't have a key to building one so i and i see my packages sitting there they take a photograph of them and then i can compare the photograph to what i see through the window mm. well there's a lot of guys your age that can't see their package so you're doing all right yeah <laughs> <laughs> You got a point there. You're mm -hmm. great. You're always fun on. He, he's good. He, I should he's got give, great one line. I should give him a show. In fact, you want my show? Nah. <laughs> I'd miss you. Mm. <laughs> but you know, you could do one. You got all the equipment. Yeah. Hey, you want you want to meet my new family member? Your new family? Oh, member? I was, I was, I was, Jethro. So I'm on TV. Jethro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jethro. What is he? He's a standard poodle. Oh, so you can get a substandard poodle? He, he looks like a substandard. <laughs> he is substandard. He is. No, I figured his name's Jethro. I figured, you know, since the all the rednecks canceled the French, didn't want freedom fries and French's mustard, why not give a French poodle a, so why a good, you, good redneck name like Jethro? Why did, you, <laughs> why did you get a new dog? Need something to eat? What? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I see. Okay. We share we share snacks. No, I'm, yeah. it, 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 it's wonderful that you got yourself a dog. Why did you decide? Did you have a dog before? Maybe the dog died and this is the new one? I did. I did. I, we have two and my, my big guy passed away early about seven months ago. Oh, okay. So I, I, cast, I cast his ashes into some glass so he stays with me at the desk. Uh. And then I waited until now to find a, a rescue. He's you know, a great dog, he, but he's an, he's an even a better paperweight then, right? <laughs> he is actually, yeah. And a lot, he doesn't scare the, the, the glass doesn't scare the shit out of the neighbors. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. It's amazing what people will do to their pets. I yeah. Mean, we, we are so attached to our pets when we get them that yep. they say that the, the death of a pet is almost as tragic to most people as the death of a relative or of a, a absolutely a, absolutely yeah. well, i could i could even 
I could think of some relatives I would have rather have pass away than that dog. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you know, I mean, I had a I had a cat named Shabbos who I had for well, he lived to be 18 years old. Wow. That's old for a cat. And and uh that cat, you know, he went through a couple of wives, you know, and he, <laughs> he, he went through a lot of girlfriends and a lot of jobs. But he <laughs> seen me in almost he saw me in every state I was in, and I had more of a close relationship with that cat than with anybody in my life, including wives, because he'd been around before them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can understand. When, I, when my big guy died, it was it was tragic, and it happened real quickly. He he got really sick, and there's a whole story behind having to, to just you know take care of him after he was gone, but. Um, I decided I, I, in the studio with the, when I got the ashes back, I made, made a couple glass pieces for me and the kids. And now I was finally ready to get a new one. Yeah. yeah. And, and we, and we made great. the I rules. Remember them that way. Yeah. yeah the, the rules were simple. It had to be a friendly breed, a smart breed, one that doesn't shed. So I don't have to sweep up the hair and can't make my neighbors crap their britches every time they see it. So and not bark, <laughs> not bark all the time. Uh, my other one is barking right now. I don't know if it's Mike. I don't know what he's doing. He's in the other end of the house. Hmm. Yes. Jethro's here chilling out. Apparently, this dog isn't a big dog, right? Otherwise, that do this dog would be barking when the other one was barking. So this is this dog. This puppy's only nine months old or nine weeks old. I, I nine, weeks. nine weeks. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so they haven't learned how to bark yet. He he barks it all night. When <laughs> or only when you're asleep, right? I yeah, never, I never knew Rick to have pets. Did you have pets? Yeah, oh, you did. Okay, no, I had a dog from 1957 <laughs> to like the years 74. 1974. Oh, so well into your Letterman days. No, that was 83. That was oh. 83. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, Pinky died. Well, we put Pinky to sleep at age 17. Wow. That's good for a dog. Yeah. She was a boxer. Yeah. Not a boxer boxer, but a, <laughs> a breed of box, other breed. Yeah. Not, not, not a kangaroo with gloves. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, Jeff, did you ever have pets? Yes, I didn't. I had lots of them, but I killed them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we you... used to use. Uh, we used to do study on, on the animals. Oh, I see. You're talking oh, about at the, at, the, at the laboratories. Yes. Oh. And once I started doing that, I said, I don't want to have pets. an animal at home. It just, yeah, I don't want to have to have a pet. I may have to give a heart attack to something. Yeah, I don't want to know their personal names. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> so... There was a great movie called the uh, Culpepper, Culpepper Cattle Company. It's about this kid who gets involved with these cowboys and goes on a, a, a cattle drive. Thing. And at one point in the movie, he looks at the guy and I got one of the one of the cowboys and says, "What's the name of your horse?" And the guy says, "You never name something you might have to eat someday." <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hear a sad story? Mm -hmm. We lived in an Italian Jewish neighborhood and Gail Deveni, our next door neighbors, who was my age, got three little chicks, you know, at Easter and they grew up and they used to follow her down the street. She used to feed them and they were just wonderful. We used to go to the movies on Saturday and one day she came home and there was a big chicken dinner. And it was her. What? <laughs> I mean, it was Don't so laugh. Sad. No, no. Finish the punchline again. Uh, <laughs> I got it. Put the laugh. It was so sad. I mean, she cried. <laughs> you know, these, I mean, these were, they became big. She fed them. They followed her in a line down the street. It was so cute. Yeah. And then you started yeah, eating. And then she came home from the movies because there was a Saturday movies for kids that started at 10 and ended at four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they, mom is cheap babysitter. And we came home from the movies and her parents laid out a big chicken fest. Yeah, and uh, did she know that it was... Uh, she didn't know, but she found out. The chicken or whatever she named the thing. 
It was horrible. I mean, did she find out? Yes, she found out and she cried. Boy, that would put me off eating chicken for the rest of my life. <laughs> You know, I remember once you want you, you talk about tragic things that happen to you when you're a kid. Okay. And I'll I'll give you this one. You know, enjoy this. I had a friend, you, you know me, I can't eat wild game. I just don't like wild game. Uh, and so this guy came over to our house and he had two um uh, like uh geese pheasants or uh yeah. wild wild geese or something geese. they're wild he had shot them okay yeah. wild and, turkeys and i'm fine with that i have no problem with it you know my mother cooks them up right we're all sitting around the dinner table and as we're about to cut into them, he said by the way be careful don't bite down on a bullet <laughs> <laughs> When since then I have not been able to eat uh, uh, wild game. When when I was in college, Alex, in out in the southern Ohio, where the guy showed up at the fraternity house with a pot of stew and finished cooking it and gave it to everybody and everybody was eating it. Yeah, and there were little bits of buckshot in it. What the hell are we eating? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got I got a dozen squirrels. <laughs> oh. Squirrel stew with buckshot still in the meat. Oh. That's why I can't eat game. It to this day that that was really it. I went, what? I'm not gonna. I don't want to bite into a bullet, you know. So I didn't have any, and uh, that was that was it for me. Hi, Mandy. How you doing? Good. Good. Is everybody out of the office yeah. right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was meeting with somebody. That's why I just now was able to get on. No. Okay. Well, yeah. you have a job to do. We understand. We probably, we probably should put this show on like two hours. Later. Probably should. <laughs> you can then call it without, you know, having to look over your shoulder. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are y'all talking about? Oh, Habit, talking habits about, and credits. We're talking about, oh. pets. oddly oh. enough, about pets. Yeah. Eating uh, pets. Eating, eating pets. pets. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, you, you, I'm sure you had pets because you had kids and the kids want a pet, right? We had a dog um, and the dog is about 13. My ex-husband, was it was really his dog. But from mm-hmm. what I hear from my daughter told me that he's really, really sick. Uh, so that's so bad. Yeah. yeah. You're probably going to have to get him put down soon. Uh, yeah. Are they going to eat him? <laughs> <laughs> he I doesn't a- even want to get him put down. He's refusing. Even though he's really sick, he's I gonna had, make him I suffer. Had, yeah, but if the dog's in a lot of pain, I had a, I had, I, a cat, I, I had a cat I had to put down once. Uh, basically, my I, cat, my cat lived to be twenty three. I told him, wow. Him, mm-hmm. I, I, I had to put down a cat. I basically had to tell him he wasn't as good as the dog. <laughs> Bad joke. Was, that joke was for the people who never heard me tell that one before. <laughs> Check so funny. All right, Shaq. What? You've heard all the jokes, right? Oh yeah. yeah at yeah. least one time. Several times. <laughs> Several times. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get out and see Shecky soon. It, I it, think it, you should. Think We've it, only been hearing you say it for three months. That's yeah. right. Longer than that. <laughs> I, love yeah. how, I love how she's trying to get me out of the house. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Go. No, but I think, you know, I think maybe uh, this weekend or next. They require the mask on the train, so that's no problem. There's something inside checking going, okay, all right. I, have to <laughs> I just got to figure out the restaurant that's open. But other than that. doesn't matter. We don't have to go to a restaurant. Yeah. No, I, just, I just haven't, I haven't, I just haven't seen, I seen you physically. Yeah, yeah. You know. and, so you uh, haven't told your shop is going to the toilet story yet. What do you mean? <laughs> We've heard it. What do you mean, Shabbos going to the toilet? Yeah, you taught it how to use the oh, toilet. Oh, no, 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 not Shabbos. That was um, Mouse was the oh, name of the cat. Little Shabbos. No, it's Mouse. Yeah. And I've, to- I've told the story. Well, you heard the story, yeah. haven't you, folks? Many yeah. times. I think you said it on the radio a couple of times, <laughs> I guess. That's what I heard. It was the cat who taught himself to pee in the toilet. <laughs> to pee in the toilet. Did she flush? There, there used to be a. And that was all. 
the question everybody asked. <laughs> Whenever I said, I have this cat that pees on the toilet. There was a, a product years ago that taught the cat to do it. It was a thing that went on the toilet yep. seat and it had yep. a it had a scratch pad that it would scratch on and it would make it flush and the whole bit. I'm trying yep. to remember which musician it was, in fact, that created that toilet. He hmm. came up with a, a way for you how to get your cat to pee in the toilet. And hmm. uh, Thelonious Monk, I think it was. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember him. Good jazz man. Yeah. Yeah. So you scratch above the toilet seat or on the toilet seat that makes the cat yeah, pee. We didn't have to do anything. This cat just sat there watching my wife, one of the, <laughs> one of my wives, uh, <laughs> watched her. There you go. Pee in the, pee in the toilet, and uh, <laughs> she just kept watching her. Just kept watching her all the time. The one night I hear something going on in the bathroom, <laughs> and I go in there and there's nothing happens the next night and the next night I go in there and there are these little wet paw prints on the seat and I'm going no way third night it's happening I run in as fast as I can and there's the cat sitting on the toilet saying do you mind <laughs> <laughs> well, prior. And, and from that time on she always went in the in the uh, toilet I had <laughs> another one who went in the bathtub yeah. But he would oh. jump in the bathtub. Oh. Oh. So before I had to take a bath, I had to remove these cat turds. <laughs> and the cat, Shabbos, so I love to death, okay? Uh, he, uh, we got him from somebody. And they, one day we heard from the woman. She said, by the way, uh, how's, how's uh, she, she had some name for him. She used him. He said, oh, we've named him Shabbos now. She said, how's he doing? He said, he's a great, terrific cat. Best cat we've ever had. She said, any problems with this cat? <laughs> and I said, no. She said, he shits in the bathtub, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we went, oh, that. You know, I mean, we learned to live with it. You know, you're going to go take a bath, scoop out the stuff out of the, uh, out of the, uh, out of the bathtub. Uh, and, uh, uh, but but you could tell when he went because you could hear clunk, clunk. <laughs> and then you go in there, and this cat was, there was part of him that wasn't too bright. As long as I knew him, and this had to be the 18 years that he kept taking dumps in our bathtub, he kept trying to dig them under. Mm -hmm. He'd make like the cursory, boom, 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 right? And then he'd leave. Okay, I tried. <laughs> And then he, he learned how to pee down the drain. So that was nice. <laughs> Stupid cat tricks. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the one guy who worked with me yes. was a veterinarian surgeon. Yeah. Okay. And it, obviously he did all kinds of things for animals and whatever. Mm -hmm. And then he tells me that his wife is also a veterinarian and I said, so is she a surgeon? Well, she's an eye surgeon. And I go, what do you mean you're an eye surgeon for animals? And I said, how do you know that your dog or your cat <laughs> needs classes. <laughs> classes or whatever? And the answer is, when they start falling into the wall every day, <laughs> well, I'll tell you, uh, Mouse, the one that went in the toilet, she went blind. And yet, she, you wouldn't know it. I mean, we moved into a new apartment. She had the whole thing figured out, you know. Uh, mm. it, it, animals, I don't think use, their, especially cats, don't use their eyes as much as they use their whiskers. And, whiskers are important. Oh, uh, yeah. And, how did she go blind? Too much cat porn? <laughs> yes, kitty boy. Oh, look who's coming here. We haven't seen this guy in a while, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Albert Reynoso. Hey, there he is. Oh, there. Albert. Oh, yeah. Hey. We're talking about pets, and I know about Albert having pets because not Albert, anymore. Mm -hmm. Are they all gone? Yes, the last one died about a month and a half ago. Really? Yes. What was it? 
It's a, it was a, it was a cat that I adopted 18 years ago. Wow. Um, great life. I wish I had his life as good as, well, I have had a great life. Too, so <laughs> yeah, you, you used to talk about that cat a lot. I used to talk about him. You, you have one cat that you had that was a favorite. Well, the, I, I have no favorites. Oh, you don't have any it's favorites? It's like Sophie's Choice. I have no favorites. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pick one. But, uh, okay. <laughs> Who's the favorite of your children? I have no favorites. I hate them all. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. When you're a stepfather, because it uh, you don't really it, there's nothing in the book that says you have to love them all. I I don't have the book. I never got the book. You never. So got the I book. don't really know how it works, but I do love them all, and I love them equally. And father or stepfather, you know, I I thought about this the other day. The word stepfather, it's a useless word. You're either going to be the father to the children, or you're not going to be the father. Well, but are you not going to be a father in exactly the same way as a father? In other words. Well, didn't come from your semen. Well, outside of that, <laughs> that's to correct. Be that gross about it. All right, now well, that's what you're saying. But you ask my you ask my kids, and uh, they'll say I'm just as much of a father as the biological semen uh, donor. Wonderful. Well, no, that's you're wonderful. a father, but it it it's it. I would think I don't know. See, if I married somebody who had kids, was I ever in a situation where I was going to marry somebody who had kids? No. But if I were to marry somebody who had kids, none of your wives had I think kids. I would have to decide, thing. along with the woman that I'm marrying, what my relationship to that those children are going to be. You know, what kind of talk is that? I, what my do you mean older what relationship. My older two daughters and my grandkids yes, is. are my kids, valid. right? Yeah. You don't have to ask. You just do. Yeah, yeah but they're, they're your well, kids. Yeah. yeah, they're my. I've have I have two daughters that I met when they were four and ten, and now they're what almost forty. And I've got two grandkids. They're my kids. There's no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only difference I could imagine is if you married someone who had like twenty five, thirty year old kids. That might be a different sort of relationship. Yeah, yeah well, I know they're my kids. I've got the receipts to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> Marjorie, who called you? Teresa, I'm just sending her a text. No, okay. Tell her I said hello. Yeah, tell her we all said hello. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I took Marjorie out for a walk today. She walked with me today. Oh, nice. What do you mean with you? You walked? He's been doing it. He's been doing it. I take a walk every day. Some day almost take, every day. Yeah. Which some is days good. lately, the last couple of days have been, been less because it's been very hot. But today it was really nice and I took her for about a, a mile and a four, a three quarter walk. Well, you took Marjorie for a walk? We yeah. walked together. Okay, that's better. But you see, you're making her sound like she's a puppy or something. <laughs> you know, the, I slowed down. Down. The and takes I took, her out. I took her up and I took a photo of her at the leaning, uh, the leaning, the reclining Statue of Liberty. It's up in uh, the park up here. She's laying down like did this a, did a Statue of Liberty that's lying down. Yeah. Oh. Get when is that going to stay till? Oh, that's there forever. Oh, that's a I'm looking forward to seeing it. Well, when it's you beautiful, see us, copper, we'll but it's all, you know, it gets that green yeah. color. Yeah. yeah, very nice. We'll walk up there and take a look. Yeah, it's nice. It's fun. It's fun. Everybody. Anyway, I didn't. I didn't want to interrupt. Do what you were doing before I got. No, there. we're so delighted to see you. Well, we were all we were all jerking each other off. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I don't come every Monday because I can't do that every. Monday. You came before that happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So how's everything there, Mandy? Is everything in uh, Georgia okay? I mean, it's Georgia. They're going to do the recount? No, they're talking to me. Yeah. They, yeah. Well, they've done recounts already. There's yeah, a recount. They're off again to do it again. And they're going to do they're, another one. They're doing it they're again doing in Arizona. Recount. Why not Georgia? <laughs> I haven't heard that. Someone's got to keep those. Well, you yeah. know, what we're doing, what we're doing is we're in. in, in involving ourselves in what's called the the true definition of insanity which is doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different outcome you mm -hmm. know and this is insanity and insanity yeah rhymes with that. I, I had not heard that i didn't know they were yeah. gonna do that in georgia oh no georgia. Not, they've done they've done i think two, two recounts in georgia oh, and it's, they did five already alex and this would be another one and the money that it would cost no, no, another one it. where in arizona in 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 georgia in georgia yeah i mean where would they get the money they've had five uh 
They've done them anytime anybody is asked, and it's wound up costing the state a lot of money. That they well, did you see Maricopa now has to buy new voting machines? Yeah. Because that company trashed them? Yep. Uh, they trashed them? Yeah. yeah. None of them are any good anymore. How did they try? How did but they've they been tried compromised? To prove that they were rigged. So they took them apart. Well, that company sued Trump wow. and Giuliani and a lot of other people. Well, why don't they? Why don't they just? It just doesn't make sense. Why, Good. They should have to pay for them. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to squeeze money out of a cyber ninja. They're very. They're very <laughs> quick and agile. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, uh, no, I, I think they pretty well settled everything in Georgia. But you know, Georgia's uh, George Georgia's suing, isn't it? They're suing. I think Georgia's suing that company. I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that company's suing Trump and Giuliani, and you no, know. No, they're not suing. What they? Oh, uh, uh, Ju uh, Trump is being uh, investigated by Georgia for possible, you know. But the, the, the voting machine company is suing everybody but Trump. Trump isn't being yeah. sued yet. Right. It's voting sued. machine is. Yeah. I thought we weren't going to mention that bastard's name today. It's, a, <laughs> it's a, yeah, well, you know, it, it still keeps coming up like my blood. Uh, you know what? I, I, that was rude. I take it back. I meant rat bastard. Yeah. <laughs> not, that, not that bastard. Rat bastard. Rat bastard. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, and uh, our, our, our mayor has announced that uh, life is better again in New York City because Stephen Colbert is going to do his show from, his, his, uh, from the Ed Sullivan Theater again. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, do we care? I can hardly wait. <laughs> Bill, Bill Maher is going to be back next week, it looks like. Really? Yep. Yeah. What he had yeah, the first... second shot and then came down with COVID. That's well, he, he tested positive for COVID, he had no symptoms. Yeah, the vaccine worked. Yeah, the vaccine worked, but I guess we had to go into quarantine for two weeks, right? right. Yep, yeah. I'm wondering when John Oliver is finally going to go back in the studio. Should be soon. He, he might be in the studio, there's really not much of an audience there. Well, I mean, it, it, still, there is an audience, and yeah. there is that audience reaction, which kind of makes them start. Well, why don't you get Lucy's mother to laugh? You know. <laughs> oh, okay. tell, tell, tell them what you're talking about. Well, the laugh track that all the shows in the 50s and 60s used was from I Love Lucy, and you'd always hear Lucy's mother, because she went to every taping, yeah. laughing. <laughs> <laughs> So for 20 plus more years on canned laughter, you would hear Lucy's mother. Yeah, they <laughs> used those for years. Immortality. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think all the Desi Lou programs used them. I mean, they really were, weren't they? Oh, no, the other ones used it too. Were they, they were really a live audience for I Love Lucy, right? Oh, yes, we have got at the Desi Lou Playhouse. And then the after theater. that, all the Desi Lou comedies who didn't want to have a live studio audience used their laugh tracks. Yes. And then you also had some shows that would be filmed, but then would show it to a live audience. Mm. And that is, quote, the laugh track. I, yes, I remember that they did do that. Yeah. Like Amos and Andy did that. Oh, really? And Abbott and Costello did that. Well, that's, uh, that, that at least makes it somewhat honest. Yeah, they would film the show at the Hal Roach Studios and then show it to a you know, selected audience and use the laughter. Well, uh, the, th I th the problem- They fill it in. The, the problem with, with Marjorie is that she refuses to watch sitcoms because she claims they have a laugh track. And so- uh, I can't Even the live audience sound like a laugh track. Well, I mean, you can't- Well, because they're being goosed by the- yep audience person signs at the top saying applaud if it's um you know. shecky if it's filmed before a live audience i mean i always was under the impression that they can say filmed before a live audience but they could still use a laugh track well very often they would sweeten it with a laugh yeah. track. Right. 
It's like comedy specials on HBO. A well, lot of those. Was, I kept telling Dead you. Dead room. <laughs> you got to watch Big Bang Theory. You got to watch uh, Two Men, uh, Two and a Half Men. Blah, blah, blah. Because I don't want shows with laugh tracks. I said, they don't have laugh tracks. The guy does it in front of a live studio audience. She said, no, nah, it's got a laugh track. It's got a, I've heard it. It's got a laugh track. One week for one of his vanity cards at the end of the show, Chuck Lorre says, for those people who think we don't have a live studio audience, and it's a photograph of the live studio. <laughs> and I yeah, but you got to remember, some of those shows now tape for six hours. The audience is not laughing on the fifth time they're doing the same segment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But, or if there's an outdoor scene, it's not being filmed in front of a studio audience. They would, probably take, they would probably take the laugh track from the first couple of takes. And you, but, yeah. but that's sweetening it yeah. then theoretically. Yeah. Well, theoretically, but it, it, you know, it's still more honest than a laugh track, which just, you know. Remember when Mash had a laugh track? Oh yeah. What? Yeah, we're in we're in surgery, cutting open some poor soldier as you hear the canned laughter going. <laughs> didn't, didn't, they pull, <laughs> didn't they pull that off after a few years? Didn't they yeah. yeah, they stopped using it eventually. Yeah. Alan Alda was like, this is ridiculous. But you know who yeah. they forced to have um, a laugh track is on the show, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, about the sp uh, sports night. Mm. Uh, they forced, uh, what's his name? Sorkin, to use a laugh track. This is when he was still not a big guy and he, he pretty much had to do what the network said. He said, you've got to have a laugh track. People don't want to laugh alone. And he didn't want a laugh track. He liked the show Bare Bones without a laugh track. So he put it in there. But if you ever watch it, it's very sparse, occasional, and very low. Hmm. You know, um, and all you hear is Lucy's mother. And all you hear <laughs> <laughs> Call back. <laughs> Oh man, but I mean, uh, uh, I uh, you know, uh, but I but I, I showed her that picture. She she went well. I don't care. It still sounds like a laugh track to me. You yeah, know? but they're being goosed. I mean, even Letterman. You know, you had you know Eddie Brill goosing them. In fact, in the pre-show warm up, where they're Eddie telling Brill you was. to laugh. Eddie, Eddie Brill did the warm up, right? After we had Bill Wendell, you know, I mean, when I did it. when I did comedy tonight, uh, I would say things and tell people to laugh and do things like that, so that they would have some fallback and room tone for the shows themselves. So that you know, if they needed to put in a laugh because they need to cut over to some, because we did two shows every day, we recorded two different shows of the same thing. And then we would take they would take the best moments of each one and put it together as as comedy as a, a comedy half hour uh, standing room only for uh, uh, HBO. And what they needed sometimes was what we call room tone, which would be laughing or just the way the room feels or whatever to do, put in as audio between the cuts, so you don't notice the cut audibly, you know. And so I would go out and I would tell people, uh, uh, how many here, blah, blah, blah. And then they would applaud. You know, how many people do this? Blah, 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 blah. Then I would say something and hopefully they would laugh. And we had a laugh track. And well, you said something about, oh, John Oliver, the fact that he talks so fast because he's not talking in front yeah, of people. He doesn't have an audience now. Yeah, that it's makes sense. He doesn't have an audience. His timing is off. Mm -hmm. And so he rattles through some of what he's saying. Yep. And that's why I want to see him back in the studio with even a minimal audience so that he's getting some kind of reaction and so he can get his timing back, which is something a comedian needs to have. You know, so, you, know. you know, if you'd had a laugh track on Sirius, we'd still be there. <laughs> <laughs> they, in fact, wanted us to, and I told them no, absolutely, and I think that's what led to our firing. It's all your fault. Didn't we put a laugh track on one day? Didn't we try to do the show with a laugh track for the fun of it? Not that I know of. Maybe yeah. it was of when I was on vacation. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you see, he remembers he remembers us actually being at Sirius XM. I don't remember that any longer. <laughs> I have the evidence. So you I want a hard the, drive. Oh yeah, I have the evidence too. I have I have boxes. 
there were boxes and boxes of CDs here. They sent over to me from Sirius. So I have almost every copy of every show we ever did. Wow. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. One box. And, and you have the San Francisco box. shows still on cassette, right? But yeah. I have them. Most of them are here. They were sent to me by Damien, who is running my storage. I I, I think you should autograph one for each of us and send them to us. Yeah. That's a great idea. <laughs> send, send me the one I was on. And if they're any good, send them back to me so I can use them. But the trouble is it took three discs to do each show, one for each hour. Yeah. Well, if you if you if they sent them to you, that would I, I assume mean that you could use them. Do you own them? Well, I I I would use them. Yeah. They're and sitting in the hallway. Them. And I have used them. <laughs> In a box. Well, they, put them up never, on, they on probably never it. copyrighted them, so they're not copyright protected. Well, not copyright protected. And the fact that they sent me all the copies that we they had belong to you really means that they were saying, in essence, these are yours. Yeah. You know, Why don't you slot out something on Gabnet where there's an hour of the serious yeah. show? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I could do that's three a great hours. idea. It just that's means a great idea. I, I have, do you that. know what? You know what the problem is here. I have to go. Alex, all the way down. Huh? Um, Albert will put in for a payment if you did that. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the problem. With it, okay. Uh, I, I know it sounds weird, but I don't have a way right now of putting those things onto a file. The reason I'm saying that is that I have a machine here, a Mac. None of the new Macs come with CD players. No. I don't Scroll. know if you heard me earlier when I said I have them all on a hard drive. Mm. I have the best of shows on a hard drive. You well, can take I, those I segments. Also, I, have them, I have them here too because you gave me copies of those. On well, a hard you, drive? You, you, you yeah. could do those. Yeah. Use that. Yeah, you should do that, Alex. I've already That's been edited. Oh, a lot of the interviews that I use on the weekends here that I run are from those shows. Mm. Oh, okay. You can get it. And if you go to uh, on Roku, if you go to the Gabnet channel, uh, there's a whole bunch of interviews there that are serious interviews that we did. Mm. They came from those files. So you should slot out a, a time where people can listen to that. But what I'd like to do is just take an average show that we did and yeah. run the whole show. But I have to first get a CD player in order to be able to do that. To I'm sure. Yeah, but what are those? Yeah. Yeah. To hook it up to your twenty yeah. bucks? No. Yeah, a USB one should be cheap. Yeah. Yeah. external hard drive 20 30 bucks i have one here i'll bring one to you in two weeks <laughs> <laughs> you know um but it, telling it, me you don't have a cd drive anywhere in all that equipment you have you know something i have one but it doesn't work well anymore. they have it somewhere <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you the job of finding it albert <laughs> i'm not only going to be there for a week the boxes are there Ready. You, you're going to spend that whole week dubbing these things for me. <laughs> and what's did you did you get my rate yet? Did you get my rate card for that? <laughs> no, I didn't. But uh, I'll send it to you. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, Albert, did you get his rate card for the free rent? Yeah. That. Yeah. Right. I was going to say that. Well, the doctor from the hotel. <laughs> blah blah blah. Thanks, Shecky. <laughs> Well, I guess he's not coming to New York this week. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. You no, know, my daughter just got a new apartment. So eh. where, where? In Forest Hills. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Nice, that's nice good. place to live. Didn't they used to play tennis out there? They did when it they was. They still old. do. They do. Oh. Yeah. Forest Hills she lives a block away club. from where I used to live. Yeah. And the U.S. Open, they used to play on grass in those days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to go there every year when it was still in Forest Hills. Yeah. You know what I did? I went to the Forest Hills Stadium. I saw the Who play there. So did I. Oh. Used the have, Who? used to have concerts. Who? The Who. <laughs> it, I think they were on first. Excuse me, I'm trying. To... <laughs> yeah, no, I think, I think Yes was on first. <laughs> guess Who? Huh? They were, guess Who was in Canada? And then it was the band, the, the band on first. And yes, time now for one of my signature jokes. Oh boy! Uh oh, oh gotta go. go. <laughs> Peter Townsend, after all those years of playing on stage, lost his hearing. Yeah. 
So they're changing the name of the group from the who to the what. <laughs> now do your signature joke. Yeah. <laughs> Show us your signature. Uh, uh, <laughs> very good. Albert's at his best always. It was, it was Pete's birthday. And today's Bob Dylan's 80th birthday. 80th wow. birthday. Yeah. Wow. Wish him a. <laughs> <laughs> I, I met that guy was I when I was in college doing the theater. I worked in the theater and he came through and uh, I, I got a chance to talk to him. He was an interesting character. That yeah. was back. God, he must have been in his 40s back then. And we went to that whole 70. adventure with him. What, who is? Kirstie Alley. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Well, what about her? I've never, I've, been, I've never physically met Bob Dylan, but he has always hated me. <laughs> well, here's the that's, reason. That's, the, that's what he told me. There was, there, was, there was a guy named A.J. Weberman. A.J. Weberman. <laughs> you, you know what I'm going to say, Steve. Yeah, I remember that. A.J. Weberman was the Dylanologist. What this guy did is he would go through Bob Dylan's garbage. No. Yeah, he was famous for he started a whole school of garbology. He would steal <laughs> Bob Dylan's garbage. Wow. He, he did things like he did artwork with the, his garbage. Uh. And, and he was always interpreting Bob Dylan's lyrics and doing things like that and literally driving Bob crazy to the point where one day uh, he saw uh, Weberman uh, at his garbage bin. He, and he was running, he was riding a bike at the time and jumped off the bike and jumped onto Weberman and started beating the crap out of him. Wow. <laughs> well, Weberman used to come on my show because when I was at the um, alternative media conference high on acid, <laughs> I bumped into this guy named A.J. Weberman, and he kept talking about all these things that, that Weberman, that Dylan was trying to say in his lyrics and so on. I thought, this is hilarious. I got to have this guy on the air. So when I went back to New York, I got a hold of Weberman. I put him on the show. Different things, maybe to this day, that I created A.J. Weberman. Mm. And that's why he would never talk to me. Hmm. So consequently, I never talked to Bob Dylan. Uh, there are actually like bootleg tapes of phone calls between Dylan and Weberman with Dylan oh. trying to talk and say, stop doing this. You know, you know. Well, there is one. I played it on the air. Uh, yeah, and then Bob Dylan called the station yelling and screaming that I was playing his phone calls with, with Weberman on the air. Because <laughs> I loved it for this one place where he's really mad at Weberman. And he says, and it sounded just like this. I can't believe you, Weberman. <laughs> and I'm going, that's, that could be a song. <laughs> I can't believe you, Weberman. Is he, uh, still alive? Is he still alive, AJ? AJ Weberman, so far as I know, I think he's still alive. I think, so. I know, I think he's still alive, yeah. And Weberman released a follow-up uh, saying, you better believe me, Zimmerman. <laughs> 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 David Peel on the Lower East Side did a song yeah. about A.J. Weberman. Yeah. A.J. 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 Weberman. Well, the thing is that David Peel was not the most talented human being. No, not at all. And whenever he wrote a song, they were all the same song. Hey, I want to write a song. I wrote a song about you, Alex. Okay. Alex, <laughs> Alex, Alex, Alex Bennett. <laughs> I mean, it was the same thing. Isn't that the A.J. Weberman song? Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was his biggest hit was the, the Pope Smokes Dope, right? Yeah, right. Mm. right. Uh, 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 Peel died a couple of years ago. It, it, yeah. I don't know if you know who uh, uh, I'm talking about when I talk about David Peel, but he had a group called David Peel in the Lower West East Side. And he, uh, he used to play in the park. And he gained the ear of a lot of people. John Lennon. John Lennon, you know, tried to dress like him. You know, but I mean, the guy who had no talent at all, I don't know why, what Dylan, what Lennon saw in him. Hmm. Um, but the thing was, nobody knew about AJ, about, AJ, about Peel, was that he would sit in the park and he would play his songs and people would join him and then kids would join him. He liked young boys. Oh. <laughs> he was using this as a lure for the young boys. 
<laughs> but I never could say that while he was still alive because I didn't want to get sued by David Peel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but David, uh, David was David was okay. Just had lacked any talent, you know. For some, <laughs> but kind of like me. That's we had a lot. Of <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm run out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> How's everything down in Florida there, Albert? Because you you got a you just got an idiot running that state. I don't know. I don't really pay much attention to the news lately because it's still the same shit over and over. It is. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 but I have to turn on the news to know DeSantis is an asshole, and a lot of the politicians <laughs> here are an ass are assholes. And why is Getz still in office? I don't know. Yeah, Gates, well, Getz, whatever his name Gates, is. Gates. I, I don't want. I don't watch it anymore. Gets truth, people. Getz molest them yeah young girls yeah gates gates yeah when's the gates thing finally going to come to a head <laughs> so to speak <laughs> it won't because he's a republican in florida true that's good yeah yeah, but uh, it, it's, he and Marjorie uh, Miller, ta Marjorie, what's her name? Marjorie Taylor, Taylor Green. 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 They're, they're out together yeah. raising money around the country. Yeah. Marjorie, Miller Marjorie Green. Marjorie Taylor Green's latest, right? <laughs> Nancy <laughs> Pelosi making people wear masks on the floor of the house is like the Jews going to concentration camp. Yes, yes. Yeah, can you believe that? And then she doubled down on it. Then she yes. doubled down but on even it. Even the Republicans now are coming out and going, that's going a little too far. <laughs> I think she says this stuff to get attention. I think she's just an attention. She's getting bar. it. She's she raising makes, the money. She's from yeah, she raises ten million dollars every time she says something stupid like that. Yeah, she's from your neck of the woods. It, not only my neck of the woods, it might be my state, but it's, it's way, way up in way the up, world. She's up west of Dalton. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, do you think she can get reelected? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, you think so? Yes, I think and so. And so we'll get. She ran unopposed because there's no there was no Democrat running against her in that region. Yeah. So if she makes it to the primary, she gets reelected. Mandy, run, run against her. <laughs> <laughs> I think that no, somebody will run against Andrew her. Cuomo's Somebody's going to run reelected. against her now. Cause I she's hope so. You know run her mouth like too much. Is what's her name? Uh, the, uh, the woman who gets out the vote. Uh, former ran for governor. Uh, Abrams. Stacey Abrams. Boy, oh, she's great. What a woman yeah. she is. Oh. I mean, just, you know, I mean, she just walks the walk and talks the talk. She does. But you wouldn't believe how many people I know, like, don't like her. I'm just like, oh, just don't like, like her. Why? What's not to because lie? it's <laughs> usually <laughs> men, it's usually men that are intimidated by strong black women. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it. Okay. That's, that's true. true. Yeah. It's true. Why are you apologizing? Well, then, and uh, what are you, your, your mayor of, uh, of, of Atlanta? Um, Bottoms. Bo Lance Bottoms. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know who her Lance father Bons. was? You know who her father was? Yeah. You remember a singer by the name of Major Lance? Major. Yeah. Years ago? That was her. That's your father. Wow. Monkey, monkey time, right? Monkey uh, time. Monkey yeah. Time. yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of him. Yeah, but it was a big hit. Too young. A big hit. You know, 1964. So that's before my time. Yeah, you weren't even born. To, to, you know. The Tubes did a great cover of it. The Tubes did? They did a great cover of it on the she the same album that has uh, She's a Beauty. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Really? What's it called? Monkey Time. I'm Monkey Time. Look that up. Yeah. But what's the what's her dad's name again? Major, Major Lance. Lance. Name. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he, every time they show her on TV in the back, she's got a copy of his album. Wow. Yeah. And he was very big for six months back yeah. at that. <laughs> he, was, he was a one hit wonder, basically. Yeah. yeah. But that's almost like a badge of honor now to be a one hit wonder, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. But the good guys always played it in 64. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really? The good oh, yeah. Guys. That's yeah. how I know it. I think that's how I know it too. Yeah, from MCA on, on, on WMCA. And when when was I at the MCA? Well, I got there in 1970. 67, 68. No, I think. No, I think I got there in uh, in 69. Oh, okay. So, I guess I missed Major Lance. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, you know, we've run out of time here. Boy, this is, I, I love this crowd. It's just, it's kind of just a nice thing for me to do for an hour, you know? Hmm. And, uh, I, and then you go make dinner. Where's our Canadian friend today, Mike? Golfing. He's golf. And he's not complaining. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much, Shecky. I appreciate hey. it. You, uh, Jeff, always good to have you here as for Andrew Deutsch. Keep being funny because somebody needs to here. Uh, Charlie Wallace, okay. thank you. Thank you to Len LaFrisco, Steve Bender. And uh, now we got to get together, huh? You know? We'll do it. We will yeah. do it. Absolutely. Uh, Albert, thank Steve, you. Steve, I'm coming up there, so we could all get together. We can hold them to it. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I'll see you in a couple of weeks, uh, Albert. You and me. Right at this time, two weeks from today. Two, is it two weeks from today? Yes. Oh, gee, it's too bad. I'm going to be out of town. <laughs> Did I mention my, my daughter has a new apartment? <laughs> <laughs> Marjorie, I'll see you uh, eventually. After Shecky. And of course, Mandy, always good talking to you. Uh, thank you all. Everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a wave goodbye at you. Okay. There Love you, Alex. That's <laughs> our <hour. laughs>